Thank you, Chris, as we welcome everybody to the 2013 Discover Orange Bowl. A pair of conference champions ready to meet up, including one team out to prove to everyone that they belong. Here's Ayla Brown to honor our country. Ladies and gentlemen, Ayla Brown. Ayla Brown, former Boston College basketball player and current recording artist to get our night started here at Sun Life Stadium, Northern Illinois and Florida State. So many have labeled Northern Illinois as the ultimate Cinderella, saying this is a David versus Goliath matchup. They have traveled far to be here from the Midwest. In fact, they have 26 buses with 1,300 students traveling 24 and a half hours to meet the ACC champs here in Miami. An improbable matchup. A Mid-American Conference team taking to the big stage of the BCS. For so many of you, probably the first time you're getting familiar with the Northern Illinois Huskies. A team set to take the field that has won 12 straight games from DeKalb, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. They draw upon that recruiting base there in Metro Chicago. Over 22,000, many feel the most famous alum. How about the voice of Homer Simpson? as we welcome the Northern Illinois Huskies. The first time a team from the Mid-American Conference has taken the field to play in a BCS Bowl. Took an overtime win in their conference title game and then an envelope please six spot jump reveal in the standings to earn this trip to South Florida with a record-setting quarterback, a confident bunch. They won't accept being dismissed as unworthy or overmatched. These Huskies are ready for prime time. Once upon a time, a big-hearted team from a cold town up north found themselves a thousand miles away, face to face with a mighty foe. From sometimes snowy, always warm DeKalb, Illinois, these are the Northern Illinois Huskies, MAC champions, right where they believe they belong. On a national stage, against a national power, the Florida State Seminoles, the ACC champions, boasting one of the best defenses in the country. Come with us now for the story of Cinderella, David and Goliath, Northern Illinois and Florida State in the Discover Orange Bowl. Florida State has been 
been trying to remind folks that they are just as hungry, just as excited for this Discover Orange Bowl. Chief Osceola has made the trip down here to Miami Gardens. A top renegade for one of those special moments, the pageantry and traditions that only college football can bring about. Of course, their foundation built on being a national power program. But yet, it's been seven years since Florida State has been in a BCS Bowl themselves. Back here after that 06 Orange Bowl. Back then, a triple overtime loss to Penn State. And now they come here trying to reestablish themselves among the national elite. Jimbo Fisher, his third season. Such high expectations this year for the Noles. Said, I'm not disappointed in our season one bit. I'm also not satisfied. You have to learn how to be champions. And they hope to be champions of the Orange Bowl here tonight. The Florida State Seminoles with that mighty defense, they are ready to roar. From Sun Life Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida, it's the 79th Discover Orange Bowl. The ACC champion, Florida State Seminoles, taking on the 12-1 Mid-American Conference champion, Northern Illinois Huskies. As we say good evening, everybody. Glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Matt Millen. And Matt, we know there's folks out there wondering how Northern Illinois is even going to compete in this game. Then there are those that have seen Jordan Lynch, <laughs> their quarterback, play out there. He's outstanding. He and was top seven in the Heisman Trophy, led the nation in total yards. Convincing, Joseph. He's convincing. And he's a guy who can do a lot of different things, least of which is throw the football. You ask him to throw it down the field, he's accurate. You ask him to run the football, he can do that. He can beat you with his feet. He can beat you with his arm. He's also a great leader. He epitomizes what this Northern Illinois Husky team is. They're tough. They're gritty, and Joe, they're ready to play this game here tonight. No doubt about it, with Leach leading the way, they're not just happy to be here, folks. Motivation, confidence in abundance, as well as the thought of silencing the critics. All we did was do our job and win, so there's always going to be people out there, you know, not wanting us in there. We've all been told we're not good enough to play in other conferences, so we've already, that's how, like, we live life, basically. If you come to Northern Illinois, you've been told somewhere else that you're not good enough to play, so we hear that all the time. Every time they go out there, they have something to prove. And it doesn't matter if it's in the Orange Bowl or against any one of our opponents we played this year. Um, they have a chip on their shoulder. That's the way they play. And that Northern Illinois offense with Jordan Lynch, they are facing their toughest challenge yet. Florida State's defense, they're fast, they're athletic. They're number two in the country in defense. And they're number two for a reason, because they're also relentless. And yes, they're disciplined. And how do you know that you watch them? This team runs extremely well. You're going to watch, they're going to try to get to the outside. I want you to count the number of white jerseys you see around the football. Not one through five, but seven. They do a great job with the discipline of scheme. Everybody always getting to the ball. Their linebackers flow well. Their corners flow well. This is a good tackling team and a very talented defense. And if the Huskies are going to do anything tonight, they're going to have to handle that front test. It's the one BCS game that had everyone talking when the matchups were announced. Now we will see if the BCS Busters can prove they belong. Northern Illinois, Florida State, set to go.
Welcome to the Nissan pregame shift. Nissan, premier partner of the Heisman Trophy and the Bowl Championship Series. Just 24 hours before Northern Illinois found out they made it to the Discover Orange Bowl, their head coach, Dave Dorn, left the program, took the job at NC State. They promoted offensive coordinator Rod Carey. Maria Taylor is with the guy making his coaching debut on this big stage. Maria. Coach, in 1998, Northern Illinois was making history for breaking a 23-game losing streak. Now you're here at the BCS Bowl game. What makes you believe that this team is ready to take on Florida State? Because everything we've thrown at them all year, they've done. And they've come back from and they've handled all the adversity. So I know we'll handle this. And Florida's athleticism has allowed them to be second in the nation in total defense. But you have a dual threat quarterback in Jordan Lynch that has already broken four NCAA records this season. What are you going to do schematically to put them in good situations to be successful? Do what we do all the time. Try to get them in space. Let them make plays. Thanks, Coach. You bet. Joe? Thank you, Maria. Dave Dorn has made the trip down here to see what his team can do here in the Orange Bowl. Came down to support them. Now the new head coach at NC State. Of course, Florida State led by Jimbo Fisher. Three years into bringing the Knowles back to national prominence. This was a team many picked to win the national title this year. This has been the Nissan pregame shift. Florida State won the toss. They defer. Northern Illinois will receive Tommy Lee Lewis. Three kickoff touchdown returns in his career. That's a school record. Dustin Hopkins, who could make history himself tonight, will be kicking off. And we are underway in the Discover Orange Bowl. And Lewis is tripped up. Out at the 24-yard line by Ronald Darby. Flag already. Flag comes in at the end of that kickoff return. One of the things, Des, that's going to happen when you have a major Head underdog. Dead ball, personal foul. Number nine. The kicking team. 15-yard penalty. First down. Carlos Williams, who plays special teams as well as their nickelback. Now you see him giving... Santa Catarina a little shove. Nicely done by Santa Catarina not to do anything, but when you're dealing with all this, sometimes you have a big chip on your shoulder. You really want to you really want to believe that you do belong here with the big boys, so things get a little chippy. Jordan Lynch and that record-setting Huskies offense. They start the night at the 39-yard line. And you will see plenty of this. Lynch running the ball and diving straight ahead to the 44, a gain of five, tackled by Tyler Hunter. Jordan Lynch named second team All-America by the AP. He finished the season with the same 258 points responsible for as the Heisman Trophy winner, Johnny Manziel. Lynch going to tuck it, run it, and be wrapped up. It'll make for a third and a long two. A look at Matt Millen's game plan. What do you got for us tonight, Matt? Well, the first thing this group has to be able to do, they have to, A, believe they belong. It's all from the neck up with this group. And then they've got to get Jordan Lynch. You heard him talk with Maria Taylor. They've got to get him in space. He's got to use his legs and his arm. And then defensively, this defensive line has some talent, and they've got to be able to win against a really talented offensive line. Third and two. Lynch sprints to the near side, and his first pass of the night is incomplete as he was looking for five foot seven. Tommy Lee Lewis, well covered by first team ACC or Lamarcus Joyner. That was exactly where they wanted to be able to get this offense test. They wanted to be getting third and short. If they could get to that, they thought that they felt that they could manage the third and short. They do not want to get in third and long situations. So Ryan Neer comes on to punt as Kenny Shaw sets up shot back at the 12-yard line for Florida State. Over end, not much hang time, but fair catch out at the 17-yard line. 
DJ Manuel, the senior quarterback for the Knowles, attempting to make history, trying to become just the second quarterback to win four consecutive bowl games. West Virginia's Pat White, the only other one to ever do it. Devontae Freeman, the veteran, versatile Lonnie Pryor in the backfield for the Knowles. And EJ will open up through the air. And he's able to find Rashad Green. What a dangerous weapon Rashad Green is for Florida State. Yeah, well, one of the things that Rashad Green is, is fast. And that's the one thing that you're going to see from this offense versus this defense. There is great speed on this Florida State offense, and they want to be able to get in space and use that speed. Out of the gun on second and three. And he gets this complete for a first down out to Rodney Smith. Six foot six Rodney Smith. Millen's game plan for Florida State. Well, it's pretty simple. When, you, when you're that good athletically, you want to establish your athletic dominance in this game. And then you can't beat yourself. You don't want to do penalties or turnovers and that kind of thing. And then defensively, they've got to punish Jordan Lynch. He is the main cog in that offense. And if you take him down, you'll, you slow him down, rather. That bodes well for you. The run the option and keep it with Freeman, but not much there at all, as he was met that time by Jamal Bass as well as Sean Progar. You like the front seven of Northern Illinois. You watched a lot of film on them. Thumbs up. Yeah, I, I like this group. I think they're gritty. I think they've got some toughness. They have good discipline. You saw it right there on the outside with that program. That program, 95 and 90 on the other side. Baxter, you're going to like these kids. They got next level skills. The offensive line for the Huskies, that concerns you. And we saw a three and out to start the game on that side against that talented Florida State defensive front. Second and 11 now. Manuel, a pump, only able to get back to the line of scrimmage as he slid down there. But it looks like their, their left guard got away with the with a little bit of a hold, but I gotta tell you, what you're gonna be impressed with, at least I was on tape, is this defensive line. And what they wanted to be able to do was get a rush with just four. Now, first series, things look, you know, that that's fine. This is where they wanna be. Third and long, and let these guys bring the rush. Watch 90 on the outside, Baxter, and 95 on the other, Brogard. Some of the 1,300 students that made their way down here. Third and 11 as they try to rally support for their defense against the ACC champs. DJ Manuel, plenty of time, and that is caught. Looks to be just a bit short of the first down line. Nick O'Leary will depend on the spot as he found his tight end over the middle, O'Leary. Jimmy Ward, safety came up to make the tackle. First team all-conference selection is Ward. I want you to see this. You know, I have watched a lot of film this year on offensive lines. And I've got to tell you, Tess, this is the most athletic line I've seen in college football now, this now year. Now, wait a minute. We broadcast number one yeah. Alabama earlier this year when they were number one. Right. More athletic than Alabama's they're, offensive they're line. They're more athletic than Alabama. I don't think they're better than Alabama's offensive line. I think Alabama's a little more physical. But this group, up and down the line, can bend. They can redirect. They run extremely well. They are athletic, and they're also short. Yeah. <laughs> They come up just a few links short of the line to make. They also, in this game, they are going to go for it, but they enjoy a 55-pound per man average across the board advantage in their size as opposed to this defensive front. Keep in mind, in these short yardage situations, E.J. Manuel is 6'5", 238. Florida State one for four on fourth downs this year. So fourth and inches on their opening drive of the Orange Bowl. Big James Wilder comes into the game with Lonnie Pryor. And Wilder gets the call, and he muscles his way ahead. It'll be a first down for Florida State. One of the things you really wanted to see early, we talked about it. They needed to believe they belong. And I believe this Husky defense is the group that's going to push them over. 
You can't tell anybody on the strut. There's 91 in there. Anthony Wells, Nabal Jefferson, 99. We talked about Progar. Talked about Baxter. They play like they belong. They got themselves a little bit of a chip, and I like that. Freeman alone back here on first down as Manuel checks at the line. And they go with the pitch to Freeman. And Freeman scoots ahead. Just past the 45-yard line, tackled by big number 99, Nabal Jefferson, one of the 15 National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete Award winners. This guy is a great example of the good that college football can do in a young man's life. They're being kind there at six foot, but I'll tell you one thing, he's got the heart of a lion in him. Seven for Manuel. And he goes underneath that time as he's able to find Greg Dent. He'll make for a third and about two. Don Evans came over, made the tackle on Dent. And, and you can see their looks on. They're going to have a rotation through their defensive line. But what they haven't been able to do is get to the thrower. And EJ Manuel can sit in the pocket. Now, what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to be patient. And conversely, the secondary for Northern Illinois is also going to have to be patient. Because at one point, one of them is going to lose their patience and take the shot. They're in a long one. Wilder comes back in, converted the fourth down moments ago. They go play action. What a nice fake by Manuel. And he's able to find O'Leary. And Green space ahead. He fumbles the ball. And Northern Illinois' Demetrius Stone comes up with it. A flag is down as Stone gets the fumble recovery. We talked about the patience test. We talked about the patience. And the team who lost their patience first was Northern Illinois. And they got messed up in coverage, and they left O'Leary alone in the flat. They tried to cover down the field with two defenders. They felt the mistake, then came back, and they forced, of course, the turnover by Florida State on O'Leary. See the effect that turnovers have had. Rashawn Melvin came up and put that helmet in there. Before the fumble, blocking the back on the offense, that penalty is declined. First down. Well, if you're an underdog, if you're a Cinderella, you're going to need the ball to bounce your way. Turnovers always key. Nick O'Leary coughed it up there. Northern Illinois ball when we return. ESPN.com or download the Watch ESPN app to watch ESPN live anytime, anywhere. Brought to you by Vizio. Beautiful night here in South Florida. Joe Tessitore, Matt Millen, Maria Taylor with you. The 79th Discover Orange Bowl. Mike O'Leary fumbled it away. Northern Illinois recovered and now Lynch and company back to business his first completion of the night it goes to Perez Ashford I'm gonna go back and watch Rashawn Melvin and what he does this is his coverage right here okay so he sees the delay he's gonna go down and he gets caught in between because he also feels the delay coming back you see how he turned you know he does a nice job of coming back and getting that head right on the ball and that's a big turnover Tommy Lee Lewis on the end around, and Lewis is taken down right at the 40-yard line. It was a good play by Nick Moody. See the Northern Illinois defense. Rashawn Melvin came up from that corner position, forced the fumble. Demetrius Stone, who went to high school locally at Miami American, back home coming up with a recovery. Test to see how they're doing this right now. They're trying to spread the defense to try to get as few numbers in the box as possible and then they're allowing they're allowing him to be able to see the numbers and work inside so they're waiting for them to declare coverage and then he's working numbers third and four Lynch gonna try to get there on his own can he beat the man to the edge oh what a hit that time by Telvin Smith 
Remember, we talked about the great team speed at the start of the game, and we showed you how they get lots of people to the ball. This is a great example of it. Delvin Smith just runs inside out along with Christian Jones. Christian Jones, number seven, takes a great angle. He gets there first, and Smith finishes it off. That's just great team speed. And they are going for it on fourth and one from their own 44. Roll the dice. He's going to pooch punt it. Just a quick punt here, and it takes a great Northern Illinois bounce inside the 10, all the way down to the five-yard line. So he can do it all. Jordan Lynch, a 52-yard punt. He needed just a little speed to the edge, and he took a big shot from Smith on that third down. The Discover Orange Bowl is brought to you by the new Discover It Card. Finally, a credit card that's changing the game. The 2013 Lexus LS and all-new LSF Sport, an entirely new pursuit. And DirecTV, if you call yourself a sports fan, you've got to get DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. You'll be seeing beautiful shots of Sunlight Stadium courtesy of the DirecTV Ultimate Picture Cam tonight. Florida State, nation's longest active bowl streak, 31 consecutive bowl appearances. Ninth time they're in the Discover Orange Bowl. In deep here after that 52-yard punt by Jordan Lynch. E.J. Manuel had his incomplete off the hands of Big Kelvin Benjamin. Of course, Florida State, they were thought of as a national title pick by so many coming into the year. They started 5-0. They had that disappointment when they were number three in the country at NC State, losing 17-16, and then would go on from there through the ACC, capture the ACC championship. First time in seven years they've done that with the win over Georgia Tech. Jimbo Fisher. James Wilder Jr. breaking free for a first down out to the 20. This is what they should be doing, is just getting after this defensive front. Just, this is a big, athletic, physical group. And I, they're young, Tess. This is a really young offensive line. They should have the entire offensive line back next year. And Fisher's a recruiting guru, putting together another stellar class. Play action now. Manuel with time downfield, finds Greg Dent. And he is pushed out at about the 39-yard line by Sean Evans. Sean Evans is giving a lot of space on the outside. And they respect the speed of Florida State. And this is what I was talking about. Now, he's going to get out of that. And see, as soon as he opens those hips, Dent has him beat. He just turns that thing to the outside. You judge. You judge width. You judge depth. And you judge hips as a receiver. He saw that as soon as those hips were flipped. Dent had a uh, superb bowl game practices all the coaches told us this was the guy that had a great December and is ready to peak here Lonnie Pryor now and Pryor running hard and here goes Lonnie Pryor touchdown no Just a nice job on that left side of just being physical and getting in good position. They're going to take watch. They're going to get right here on the nose and then inside out. He needed to come down tight, and he did not do that. And the backer can't get over. And then Pryor just uses his speed and outruns everybody. Tyrone Clark, that backer, if you skate just a little bit, Tess, if you, you don't come downhill and force that thing, you gain an extra gap, and it's history. Lonnie Pryor jumped into Jimbo Fisher's media session the other day and asked like he was a reporter and said, hey, how can you get the fullback more involved? 
That's a good way. 60-yard touchdown run by the senior. Aerial coverage is provided by Goodyear. 7-0 Florida State. Tires that go the distance make Goodyear a fan favorite. Goodyear more driven in that touchdown lead for the Knowles thanks to a career-long run by Lonnie Pryor. He went 60 yards, Matt. Let me show you anatomy of a touchdown, Joe. It's really a beautiful thing. These two have this one and this one. He's outside. He is eyeballing this backer. He's got to come down. You'll get outside. The safety will be the free hitter from the middle of the field. You're going to see him. He's got to take a good angle down inside. And this is where speed comes in. Lonnie Pryor, who's really not known for speed, although he can run, he outran the angle. Poor angle by Stone, the safety. And it's six quick. with a big boot. Tommy Lewis takes a knee. Let's check in with John Saunders. John? Joe, Matt, thanks a lot. Sports Center right now brought to you by Discover Car, taking you to the Rose Bowl, presented by Vizio. Kelsey Young takes this touchdown run and a 7 to nothing lead for Stanford. This one was a tight game and late. Uswal Manum, defensive player of the game with the interception to seal their first victory in the Rose Bowl since 72. What a year for Stanford and the big one against Oregon and now they cap it with a Rose Bowl victory this afternoon. Northern Illinois offense two three and outs. They need to get something going. Oh and he missed a wide open Martell Moore and that test you cannot miss in a game like this. You've got to have some big plays. You know traditionally and this through this year. Northern Illinois has not started fast. They've kind of stumbled in their starts. This is an opportunity on the double move that Moore runs perfectly, and Lynch has to be able to hit that throw. Lynch here looking for some running room, and Lynch is able to get it out to the 30 yard line, a gain of five. Wednesday night on ESPN, it's the All State Sugar Bowl. Number 21 Louisville against number three Florida. Will Must Champs Gators and that great defense against the Big East Champs. Coverage begins Wednesday night at 8 o'clock on ESPN. Bridgewater should be completely healthy for that one, Tessa. That will help a lot for that, for that offense for Louisville. Teddy Bridgewater, the quarterback for Louisville. Heroic performance he had to close out the season dealing with injuries to earn that spot. Gordon Lynch facing a third and four here. Design quarterback run, and he will be three yards short. Matt, there is just no room against the middle of that Florida State defense. Well, Jordan and, Warner with the tackle that yeah, time. Yeah, there's some good, and there's good reason. They're going with that young offensive line against that defensive front. And I want you to watch on the inside. They don't get any movement whatsoever. In fact, they're just getting mauled in here. That's just getting overpowered. Three straight three and outs now. That defense that we talked so much about before kick showing up exactly the way we thought they would. This is a fake here. They are going with a fake punt and pulling it off is Desroy Maxwell. How about that? From their own 32 into Florida State territory. That's a great call by Rod Carey. Rod Carey's, he knows he can't fall behind in this one. And he had that thing. Desroy Maxwell read it perfect. They had it set up. This is all about numbers on the punt team. If you get them, you take them. And he was. Desroy got to the edge. Not the fastest guy, but he got walked down. But a big first down in their first one of the night. They needed something. Carey wasn't going to let the game just linger. First head coaching gig. And he goes with that in the Orange Bowl. And now Lynch met at the line of scrimmage again. 
This time it was Mario Edwards Jr., the freshman defensive end. Yeah, they wanted to be physical. Remember, Jordan Lynch had something to say this week. Watch the end of this thing. That's Bjorn Warner. That's on the third down. He's letting them know that he's there. That's no. Bjorn Warner on Jordan Lynch. And like we said, Tess, Jordan Lynch, he is this offense. The pass now on second down. Swings it out of the backfield. Tommy Lee Lewis. Oh, a little half step in midair there as Lewis turns on the speed. And it is first and goal, Northern Illinois, as their former coach looks on. Northern's going to love it. Now, he got Tommy Lee Lewis right down here in South Florida. Tommy Lewis is about a buck 50 soaking wet with a rock in his hand, but he can flat out fly. Watch his little Dion move in the middle. He gave that little, little kick step. That's to let everybody know he's got it. That kid can go. First and goal. Lynch. There's just nothing there. Lynch keeps testing it. And he keeps finding Garnet and Gold right in his face. That was Nick Moody coming up to make the tackle. Yeah, and we said that the Florida State team had to establish the presence of physical dominance and their athletic superiority, and where you really see it is up front. Now, the Northern Illinois coaches knew this could be a problem with their young offensive line. Second and goal, Lynch with time, throws it short and underneath and incomplete. He was looking for Maxwell, who had the fake punt go for a 35-yard run, but it'll be third and goal for Northern Illinois. Rod Carey's calling the plays down from the sideline, and then up in the booth, his quarterback coach, Bob Cole, they're in constant communication, and they know, and they're reading things. Carey said, look, if I don't get a good feel for it, I'm just going to kick it back upstairs. But he's going to try everything on the front end with formations, which is what he's doing right now. Receivers stacked to the near side. They go to the far side, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Martel Moore, who was being ridden by Xavier Rhodes. Now, here's the difference, okay? Xavier Rhodes, that looks close, but he starts the bump right from the start. Watch, gets his hands on him, continues with it the whole time. Now, he's got to pull off that eventually. They may have gotten away with one right there, but... Rhodes is a big physical corner. So out comes Matthew Sims, the junior from Hannibal, Missouri, who's been good on the short range stuff this year. This attempt will be coming from 25 yards. And the Huskies are on the board. That Florida State defense, they put up the wall once they got inside the 10. Florida State's only allowed three first quarter touchdowns on the year. 7-3 game here in the Discover Orange Bowl early, and that makes for a happy Rod Carey getting on that board. Glad you're with us for the 2013 Discover Orange Bowl. The Direct TV Mobile Studio on its road to the Discover BCS National Championship. It has arrived here in Miami Gardens. Over 63,000 miles, countless stops. And now it'll camp out here as we will get set for the big one next week. Number one, Notre Dame. Number two, Alabama. Oh. South Florida, the uh, center of college football here this week through next. 7-3 Florida State is Northern Illinois. Able to get the Matthew Sims field goal thanks to the efforts of that guy, Desroy Maxwell, who had the 35-yard run on the fake punt. Keep the drive alive. Well, Maxwell completed a gutsy decision by Rod Carey to take that thing. He took the chance, and Maxwell carried it out. I will Weedle to kick away. Here's Carlos Williams, who will just take a knee. Thursday night on ESPN, it'll be the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Number four, Oregon. Number five, K-State. This is going to be a good one. You got Marcus Mariota on one side. You got Colin Klein, the Heisman Trophy finalist, 
on the other. Coverage going to begin Thursday night at 8 o'clock on ESPN. K-State going to be able to handle that Ducks offense, Matt? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they're going to struggle with it. But conversely, I also think that the Ducks are going to struggle with Calvin Klein and that option. <laughs> Colin Klein, I should say. Little touch pass ahead here to Rashad Green and Green cuts back against the grain there and then is tackled by Jimmy Ward. That's a nice jo job by Ward to stay behind because that Husky defense, they headed that whole thing off and he had to cut it back and Ward does a nice job of just staying behind and then making the play. Because this thing could have been out the gate. A year ago was Tavon Austin in this game. Time and time again. Getting big chunks of yardage off that little tap pass forward. Second and four, bad snap. E.J. Manuel at six foot five, able to go up and get it and make the most of it as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. And that was just the athleticism of Manuel, just to get up that high first of all, and then be able to. He picked up uh, maybe a half a yard or so. But watch this, it's up high, and he just goes and gets it. You see, Baxter did a nice job. He would have, he had the edge that time. Sets up. There's a third and about five. This is a big deal right here for this Husky defense. Thirty-five. five, Brian Spore started center, and he has most playing experience among that young offensive line. That high snap moments ago. Second team all-conference is Stork. And a timeout called by Florida State. Timeout. E.J. Manuel will come over and talk things over with Jimbo we'll Fisher. E.J. Hey, e. Manuel, a young man who's had a tremendous career, but it was revealed recently that some of the pressures that he's been dealing with this season, far beyond the pressures of trying to lead a team to a national championship. His mother, Jackie, yesterday just had her eighth and final chemo treatment and she's battling cancer we wish her the best but obviously uh, a lot for a young man to have to deal with and and to deal with it his his parents have been with him the whole time he's one of those guys who's really tight with his parents and this weighed heavily on him and uh, I know having gone through that chemotherapy with with my own mom it stays with you all the time and to go through this whole season and manage it that's a credit to him and Jackie unable to be here tonight in Miami she was diagnosed with breast cancer before the season started, and EJ was quietly dealing with it, weighed so heavily on him. Third down and five. That was deflected at the line of scrimmage that time by Ken Bishop. Bishop, nice rush. Felt that he was going to throw it back underneath. They went man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, but Bishop was able to get his hands up and knock that thing down. That's a big play for this Husky defense. Bishop is a Florida native. He had Rashad Green in the middle of the field. If Green gets a half a step on your test, that could be ugly. They came after the punt of Case and Beatty. It's a short punt. And it bounces at about the 37-yard line. So Northern Illinois it's a stop there against that Florida State offense. What a ride it was to arrive here at this point for the Huskies. They had that MAC championship game in double overtime, and then they needed some help. UCLA. They needed to get up to the top 16. Their head coach the next day took off for NC State. Texas lost that Saturday night. Then come that Sunday, Rod Carey was named the head coach, and they would find out that they earned an invitation into a BCS Bowl as they were able to get all the way up to number 15 in the BCS standings and the fact that another AQ conference, automatic qualifying conference champion, was below that mark, Northern Illinois, becoming the first Mid-American Conference team to make it this far. Dave Doran looking on here. He's now the head coach at NC State. And as we that come to the, the end of the first quarter, we saw the speed of the Knowles. 
And that 60-yard touchdown run by Lonnie Pryor. And then the guts of Northern Illinois on the fake punt. 7-3 game here at Sun Life Stadium.